Hey guys, and welcome back to Welcome to the Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and we are on the rock full of brains, a couple of little asteroids out in the wilds of space. We currently have on reversing a bunch of lava above our heads, and over a pie accident last time, we spent most of our time cleaning up the atmosphere around here, just as Maxwell has come to show us. We've got a gas pump at the very bottom of the atmosphere, taking through everything that is not oxygen and pumping it up through various processes to try and make sure that we have nothing but oxygen at the bottom here and all of the processes clean out uh, all the other gases for other things that we need. Over here we managed to make it so that our duplicates would not die when coming into this warm area over here which is incredibly helpful and we've even got two atmospheric atmosphere dock suits over here but we have a problem we have a problem one that has been brewing for a little bit of a time now you can see at the top here we've got zero calories and normally i would come over to reverse lane and i'd be like let's send some food from over oh no we've got zero calories over here now th this one is not the, not the end of the world what i can do is go down and find i don't want i don't i just want to hatch and we're going to attack these ranches over here i've been turning over for a little bit of time now but it's not been quite enough time that the full natural life cycle of the hatches has been playing out so we've been having to harvest manually for a little time now we are making something on order of an egg a day maybe even two or three eggs a day so it's not the end of the world but once we've got the food under control and we're going to go back to pie accident to do a little bit more to that i also want to get this lava siphon underway so we can start making our way up here and get out to the surface but the system that i was going to use here that crushed lava into mesh tiles and then as the uh, lava cooled it would spit out the items doesn't work anymore so we need to make a different system welcome to my test world where i have found out many things about the planned uh, build that i was going to do here i thought as it was such a high stakes environment we might very well try to uh, make sure I'm not going to kill all the duplicates straight away but I found out something if I uh, take some mesh tiles and slam them over here what happened to the lava where did where did the lava go what what happened there now the temperature has indeed been redistributed so uh, it could very well be that the lava is there i just haven't seen it but the way this one works if we have a look there's two temperature sensors this one tells the steam turbine to turn on and off at the appropriate time and this one tells the door to open and shut at the appropriate time one of the things i've learned is that you can't self cool this uh, this machine anymore the water coming through here just gets too hot too fast and it, uh, it it overheats as we just sit here and watch it we can see the temperature is spiking up immediately i was expecting it to hold about 99 that unfortunately has not happened i don't believe it to be because the magma's here we got we got a whole bunch of abyssalite i could surround it with more insulated tiles if i like but i i believe the abyssalite doesn't actually pass Let's turn that off. Uh, pass any um, temperature through it. The thermal conductivity is zero, so that there's no way for anything to come through. Maybe through this corner tile here that we got some overheating, uh, but very, very, very quickly uh, the temperature gets too hot in here. As we can see, we're 97 degrees so far, 98. 99 so i'm going to need an active cooling system but that's quite good because i also want to have an active cooling system for down here let's just put some more hydrogen back in there so just to keep that ticking over what i might do i'm gonna put a very small amount of liquid hydrogen oh yeah okay that, i can see i can see why that would have been a problem i i may have caused a bit of an issue <laughs> Okay, I went with dropping hydrogen gas in there. What, what was I saying? I want active cooling because these mesh tiles, they they scare me. Look, look, even deleting that, where, where, where's it gone? Where, where has the lava gone? I just, I don't know. I don't know. So what we're going to do instead, if I just open this for a second and then close it again immediately afterwards. No, not, not quite that soon. Let's open it up and let a small bit of lava drop through. Like, look at this. What, what is this? What is going on? We've got Ignis Rock at the bottom, supposedly. Uh, that's good. Well, I say that's good. That's fine, because what I want to make use of is this Robo Miner. Now, I do not know. I do not know how far away my research is from getting this done. But we could use this Robo Miner to uh, mine out any of the is this really igneous rock is that is that what's going on there i kind of don't believe it well we're digging it so okay cool uh that that's what i want to happen i want this robo miner to dig it out and then the um the heat tile here drags all of what what are you doing abe be gone with you uh the the metal tile draws all of the heat out 
Uh, and this Robo Miner takes down the Igneous Rock. And then we've got this Auto Sweeper that can come along and pick up the Igneous Rock and pop it in a storage bin. This storage bin would actually probably be a conveyor rail. We then run the Igneous Rock up and through here to try and take some of the heat out. This will need to be a much larger... Um, much larger steam chamber of course but this this is roughly the idea we've got now these two are the things i wanted to show you let's go back to the rock full of brains as you can see this is the survival world i hit the research and i i need to see where the auto miner is i i have no look there it is robotic tools oh we could do it oh whoa 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 whoa, whoa. I, I clicked the wrong thing we could we could totally do it i'm just just gonna line that up ready to go research oh no 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 stop Reload my save. <laughs> Turn off the debug menu. Uh, that that should hopefully mean that when I load up my next save... Oh, guys, please. I don't want to lose achievements. I don't want to lose achievements. Okay, achievements are still there. That's, that's, that's good. And now if I go to the research and click down to Robo Miner, it should just still work. What is this? No! Look at all this on the side. What? How? No. Well, that sure was stressful. We got the achievements on, and I'm back to just the two Astro. Oh, that, that was very, very stressful. Okay, so we got food being made, but this is not all the food that... Oh, no, no, that's not... That's not all I wanted to do. Wait, wait, wait. There was another... Here we go. Bam! Put the Robo Miner back on. Now, now we're back on track. We're going back to Pyaxlin, because we've also got food issues here, and the way I'm going to solve these food issues are by going along and just digging all this area out. I think you can understand what I'm going to be doing here. That's right. We are going to be getting a whole bunch of bristle blossoms set up over this side. Uh, that's the plan anyway. I hope... Hopefully it will work out well over here, and uh, before we, we all starve to death, I'm, I'm a little bit worried about that. I'm a little bit worried. One of the good things about digging out an area like this uh, is we'll have uh, buried items back here. You can see the sand has a buried object underneath it. It doesn't tell us what it is, though something seems to be hidden here. Might be muckroot. Muckroot's tasty. Looks like we're missing somewhere to drop our ordinary water off. I'm going to just grab this pump here, this uh, pitcher, sorry. Uh, I can't see it, but I'm going to assume that's right. We'll just pop it there, uh, and we'll drop water in our water tank, which is slowly filling up. We... Good job we're going to be putting these bristle, bristle blossoms online because we're, we're, we're going to run out of space soon. Okay, the first thing was somewhat unfortunately a hatch. I I think I'm just going to kill the hatch. I think we're going to cook it up. We, we do have a uh, barbecue here. Yeah, we're just we're just going to deal with it in a, in a kind of final and permanent way. Also, Curie starting to starve. We, we, we desperately need to deal with this. We've got 4,000 calories over here now. Most of it barbecue. Okay, that's nice. Still, people are not being beat up here. We, we could do with that that becoming a thing another reason that i'm concentrating on hatches is sometimes the yeah you see that he was trying to eat the meat and who knows how much is now going to get dropped over here uh it should be two two thousand kilograms but uh two two hundred two thousand grams is what i'm trying to say there ah but uh, it, he might have eaten a bit like there was cold got that got dropped there who, who knows what happened who knows stone hatches not a problem stone hatches don't eat meat yeah, stone hatches eat a whole bunch of rock, but there's no meat on that list as opposed to this uh, hatch, if I could just get one of the hatches. Hatches. Uh, th there's a whole bunch of stuff there, so I won't hover over it, or I'll try not to hover over it. But underneath the mushroom lettuce, you've got meat. It's it's halfway. It's it's kind of in here somewhere. Underneath my cursor, if I now move it, you can see meat right there. Plant meat, meat, meat. There's there's all that stuff going down with the hatch. So we, we kind of want to try and kill hatches as quick as possible to keep them from eating the meat. But anyway, we should probably send some barbecue across. Don't want everybody starving on the other side, do we? So this hatch down here, it seems pretty old, dropped an egg. Let's attack this guy and see if we can't get the meat into the uh, the electric grill over here as well. I don't know if we've got any already down, not at the moment, but we'll, we'll see. Look, there's barbecue on the floor here. How are people starving? Maxwell, how are you starving? Go go get food. Oh, printing pot of mystery, do you bring us food? Are you b blossom seeds? I suppose they're good. We don't actually have enough blossom seeds to fill up this whole farm here. Uh, if we have a look... Uh, it's, Eight. We've got eight, so uh, yeah. <laughs> But whilst we watch Curie and the crew on Pyaxel and go through and make their own food supply, I would like to take this moment right here to thank the people that bring the nourishment to my life. Scrolling up your screens right now, you will see a list of names. These are the guys and girls that have taken the time out of their day and the money out of their wallet to make sure me and my channel can continue doing what we're doing. 
As I coast through my life of many priorities, hours are precious things to come by, and the many hours I have to put into any episode, of Oxygen Not Included, whilst I love doing it, is made just that more justified by your guys' continued support, and I really do have to say from the very bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, almost two entire cycles, so well, in fact, two entire cycles later, we did indeed get some muck fruit. I'm not sure exactly how much we got. There's 7,000 calories worth. That's amazing. That's about two days worth for the three duplicates we have over here. Let's go and have a look on reversal as well. Still running a little low on calories, but we've still also got a hatch that we've not beaten up yet. So uh, uh, I suppose that's fine. Frost buns, there's sleep wheat around. That's, that's cool. Research is coming along. Looks like we're running short on novice research, and I bet it's because we're out of dirt. Okay, so how do we get more dirt over here? I know how to get more dirt over here because we've been digging up a whole bunch of it. So if we just send it direct over via the power of the teleport machine, it could just be one more thing that we send. I have no idea where it's kept, though. Cultivatable soil? Dirt. Beautiful. So I'm sure someone will get to that at some point. Before we can get these bristle blossoms up and running properly, there is one more thing we need to do. That's, of course, divert the cooling system. Let's just do it like this. If I put a little gap there, that should help immensely. This might even mean that we can do other things such as take out this whole line here and just kind of keep it nice and thin okay so the thing that i want to make sure here is that this is all down below 30 degrees as you can see body temperature is a problem there we're at 30.4 but the water coming in here is like 25 degrees so that that should be fine i don't know what temperature it's going to leave at there's not much more than 25 okay that's fine of course when all this gets up and running again and we've got uh, some major heat coming through this might become a bit of a problem but right now it's working there we go brilliant awesome already already down to 23 degrees that's that's exactly what i like to see this is 30 i'm almost certain as we're watching it it will change or, may, or maybe not maybe it's just gonna sit there for a little bit longer that's fine you do you buddy you do you Okay, and now let's watch the water level over the next few days as more and more bristle blossoms get added. We're about the level of these ladders. I've got a feeling we're just going to carry on filling up. When does this next, next go dormant? 33 cycles. So we've got to have enough water in here to be able to live through that. Of course, this polluted water it will also be adding. But I've got, I've got to say, I've noticed that the, uh, the, the old cleaning methods over here aren't quite as fast as I would like. But I suppose that's that's just something we're going to have to deal with. We could make another chlorine room somewhere else at some point, maybe underneath or on top. We've got a lot of space under here for making into chlorine rooms, I suppose. Uh, and then we could clean it a little bit faster, maybe? I don't know. So, I've come to Pyaxlin and found a little bit of a conundrum here. How are we getting steam at 115 degrees when the carbon dioxide around it is just 83? And I was looking around and I, I couldn't quite figure out what was going on. And I found this liquid sulfur over here. And the liquid sulfur is at like 130 degrees. I was like, how? How has this happened? I jumped around all my different timelines. I've got quite a few... Uh, saves. Let, let, let's just load this up. I, I could go all the way back to cycle 333 here with all the auto saves. And there was sulfur on the floor. I was worried that it was a debug accident, but of course, coming over to the colony summary, we can see that I've still got my achievements, so this save is still pure. But what's all this sand about? Oh, this sand is hot. 200 odd degrees. Where's that coming? Oh, oh, look at all this obsidian here. This obsidian is very, very, very hot. Let's, let, let's just seal that in natronium at the top there i must have thought it was all natronium when i was digging it out that's um i mean it's kind of okay apart from it means the slicksters are now in steam rather than in carbon dioxide so we, we've got to try and sort that out somehow if you're wondering where the sand came from if polluted water will drop um Polluted water will drop dirt, I believe, when it turns into steam, uh, because it's you know it's it's got stuff inside it, and then the dirt, when cooked high enough, ooh, 600 degrees back here, will turn into sand. Great source of sand, not so good for uh, keeping your dirt stores running though. And that dirt that we're trying to save is of course being sent over via the magic of teleport to Reverslin. Re Reverslin, thank you very much. Where it's all being dumped in the corner over here. We've got to do something a little bit better with things like the uranium and the plastic. We've got some fossil. We've got six tons of fossil, but we're waiting for lime for the steel for the steel to turn over. What what is this? 
We, we might need to do something about this. Look at that. Here, this is this is all ready to go. Why isn't it being used? Priority four. Uh, of course, needing the steel so I can put down a thermal aqua tuner and many other things, in fact, inside here. Like, I'm not sure whether these copper thermo, uh, thermo sensors are going to cut it, but we'll, we'll just have to make do for now, I suppose. Okay, finally, the first piece of research has been done. This is, of course, an artificial friends. We get Sweepy, which is good for farming sometimes. Uh, we may or may not end up using him. And the Rover module, which is good for exploration, which is good because that is something I want to get to. We have uncovered a, a shockingly small part of the map. We really should get around to unlocking more of that at some point. Okay, so we now have this corner of the ranches sealed off from all this heat man that, that is a lot of heat down here i wonder where this came from and look at this 900 wow we could probably tap this as a power source right that's a, that's a lot of heat there more more sand being made oh wow but now with that like this i mean why why aren't we getting some petroleum being made the uh the temperature transfer between the sulfur must be pretty low or the, the water is stealing all of the temperature maybe that's more oh and there's the next uh, research complete robo miner beautiful so we can now come over to reverse and i was just doing a few things to tidy up some of the other areas oh these guys have started going in and digging up here i mean that's that's pretty good that's that's useful that's useful we need to try and figure out what's going here one of the things what i really need oh is enough steel to put down that okay beautiful that that that's helped me out immensely once that's in place we can actually knock this tile away i'm also going to make up another little area under here to make into a vacuum but this one's going to be a little bit tougher uh because it's it's already got some gases in it so we're going to need to pump it out uh making a small little area here to make another liquid lock but night time oh always night time also starting to run out of the barbecue that we had are you guys really not old enough yet I saw an 83 out of 100 in there. There was like a 50 and a 60 as well. I mean, they're, they're, they're nearly getting there. They're nearly getting there, but not quite. So I was wondering why there was no petroleum underneath here next to the very hot obsidian. Uh, it's because it's ended up in my water tank. Okay, that's that's fine. Can we mop it? We can. Okay, beautiful. Uh, how are we doing over here, though? Okay, we're getting some good stuff put down. Finally, the metal tile has been put in place. These sweetles really don't want to get caught in here, though. That that would be bad for them. Well, what one of them got stuck. That's okay. We can live with that. So I've gone and sorted myself out a whole little separate system here, where we've got a ma manual generator feeding into a battery, which ke keeps this gas pump running, which pulls a vacuum. And then realised actually, I don't I don't need to pull a vacuum here. What I need to do is be able to keep the the heat separate from this system here and whatever it is I put down here. So if we come down to the shipping, I want a robo miner. Uh, the, the lava, the magma, is going to get dropped in this little spot here where it uh, will send its heat across nicely there. I think we're going to figure out something clever to do with the doors up top so we can keep all the heat separate. Uh, but then this will turn into an igneous rock and then we will need to... Oh, can I? No, that's not what I want. Gotta love those morning autosaves. So we can pop this here and that will dig through to that igneous rock there. I was also then thinking, well, where can we put put the sweeper to pick it up uh, there was a, 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 a an insulated tile in this corner here but without it but without it i could go ahead and turn this round and just kind of put it in this corner there and then that works as well this is a beautiful little system that means we can actually keep this area down here nice and cool so I am going to be continuing... Oh, a little bit of research came in. So I am going to be continuing to pull a vacuum in here for now, but uh, not not for too much longer. I, I think we're going to think about dropping some hydrogen in there, and then that can make the uh, the cooling that we have going through much more efficient. Yes, yes, indeed. But this is where we got hydrogen. We can, we can easily just siphon it off of here. Okay, so we can no longer build through doors towards other doors. This seems to be something that just cannot be done. Okay, that that's fine. It was a bit hacky, I understand so I'm, I'm down with it so we're gonna go and try and get at this a different way okay trying to figure out how to dig up this way without exposing myself to scalding heat is a problem i tried offsetting the doors but there was no way of getting the duplicates to climb up that wouldn't just involve a whole bunch of uh, lava being dropped on top let's uh, let's ask someone to come along and do this one at top priority uh let's start with this door closed is that a thing we can do oh, if i do that it's totally blocked off okay let, let's just see what we can do here okay it opens both doors that might not be the best okay so like this i wonder if i can now 
put a door in this space and then use that door to... Oh, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I still don't think like this is going to work very well. If I do that, what do we get? The door opens up. Is that going to drop like imaginary lava on our head? It could very well. Oh, we need Curie. Oh. 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 We need someone who can dig through the Abyssalite. They, no one here can dig through the Abyssalite. Hmm. Oh, I didn't want to cancel the bill, but actually, do need to stop and think about this. Okay, Curie's idle over here, though all the food is over this side. We should probably send some of that back. But if she's idle, let's uh, let, let's send her home. Let's, let's see what we can do here. Remember to hang around and press the button. That's one thing that I always forget to do. Uh, Franklin, come along delivering dirt. Okay, that's good. That means we've got some research that can go underway. Everything seems to be ticking over okay. K over here. I'm a little bit worried that the water's not getting chilled enough, but actually that's that's not a, a worry anymore. Over here, 30 degrees. Okay, we're, we're working on it. We're working on it. Let's teleport Curie out of here and let's just go see what we can do on the other side. People are starving this side. Ah, oh, that's not great. Wait, what, what? instead of dirt being moved, let's send that Let's send the barbecue back, even though we've not actually got that much barbecue anymore. Okay, I'm sure I'm sure we can figure out something to do with it. Okay, been a few cycles. I think I've figured out a way of doing this with Curie over here, who seems to be having a hard time finding the barbecue that is available to her. But with Curie over here, we're able to dig and build at quite the rate. So if we can get these ladders built before she gets up here, we then build these insulated tiles at the side and take out the, the tiles in the middle. I'm then wondering how much pressure of magma is above here and whether these obsidian tiles will give out before before Curie can come in, dig it out, and run away. Uh, you, you'll see that I've got this door here. Um, I'm not expecting the control system to survive a Dunkin' Magma, but it is just so Curie can get away. This door will hold back the magma for a little bit. I'm not sure. Let, let's have a look at what point the mechanized airlock just melts. So it will melt eventually. Hmm, maybe we want to change that out for something that won't melt eventually. Well, it looks like we're on the way anyway today, so let's see what's going to happen here. I'd really, really like these two side ones to be done. Do we want to go up one more? Is that is that asking just a bit too much? To say that I am scared of this is an understatement at, like, at its worst. I, I am terrified. I've got a little heart rate on the go and everything. It's it, It's horrific. But one, one block at a time, we'll get there, we'll get there. I also really want to make sure all this is out of here. Five out of six, that's right. I've also brought Franklin along so we can get this uh, auto sweeper system on the go. The Mathic Rock showing us how it works here. You see it's going to come through this area first. It's going to be quite hot at this point. So the first thing we do is pass it through what will be the steam box. You might notice this gas pump here. We, we had a little bit of a problem where this, uh, gas, this liquid blob got uh, swept up and uh, let, let some gas in here. 700 degrees up here 700 through the abyssalite that that's very interesting that's a little bit worrying but then after it comes through the steam box it also then comes up by the steam turbine which will be another hot but cooler place than the steam box steam box about 200 about 100 here and then it will pass down through the the tiles and down to this little dumping spot that we've got down here where all the igneous rock will be shared out amongst the stone hatches down here but with that system in place, it's actually time to send Franklin home. You guys barely got to see her, but she played a pivotal role in the proceedings here. All right, good, goodbye, Franklin. Have a good time. Away she goes. Any moment now? Whoop. Okay, this of course does mean that Maxwell has been on his own over on Pyaxlin over here. Uh, looks good. We are getting a little bit over pressure with carbon dioxide, so I've put carbon skimmer up. Um... Yeah, we're running on petroleum because the natural gas geyser went dormant and is going to be dormant for a little while. And it turns out that makes a lot more carbon dioxide. Uh, we split the split the slicksters into two, and we're actually getting to the point where we're having too many things inside any one uh, one pen at any one time. And you see, these guys are cramped. Uh, we're at eight. I wonder at what point it stops telling us that they're cramped. I, I, I don't know. I thought I thought it was eight, but it turns out no, that's not quite right. Maybe because of this tile down here. So yeah, it's all this stuff here. This mesh tile, this uh, igneous rock underneath. And uh, is this all neutronium? Am I going to be unable to expand it anymore? I might need to drop this door to a single tile. Oh, Franklin's back, doing her work. Great. Let's go back to the reversal. I've put it off for long enough. 
It, it's time to think about it. Okay, we, we're going to want some insulated tiles here. I did think about having heat conductive ones, but if this is the only thing holding the lava back, no, that's that's not what we want. We only want this one channel for uh, for heat. Uh, but we we want the the stuff delivered, but we don't actually want them to build it because the next thing we want to do is to knock out this layer of abyssalite and see if the subsidian is weak. Oh, this is, this is legitimately scary. Let's dig one side out first. This might be a bad idea to just dig one side out, but let's dig one side out first. Kiri, where are you going? Please don't. Uh, and see, no, wait, we've got to wait for the oxygen to clear. Don't, don't do this. Kiri, Kiri, don't, don't, run away. <laughs> if we don't wait for the oxygen to clear, as thin and tenuous as it is, it will start transferring heat from the magma to all sorts of things, and we're not ready for that. We're not even close to ready for that. Okay, we're a weird bit where the gas is just dissipating into its own vacuum. That's that's pretty cool. Every now and then a bit got across to the pump and made the pump fire. Uh, let's slow down the world as we're there. We can take get rid of this pump. We, we, we don't need it now. We don't need it. Okay, cycle 370. I've got a series of more and more desperate plans that I can enact, but they all start by removing these bits of abyssalite. Let, let's get in there and let's do that. Thankfully, Plank coming through and cleaning up the floor after me. This water's going to stay here and we have access to dump more water in at a moment's notice. Uh, I had to pull these tiles down because they kept on trying to build them uh, before all the, all the oxygen got taken out. But of course, no, nothing in there now. It's going to be a nice and contact only way of the heat spreads. That was that was good English, by the way. Okay, here we go. Curie's going to start us off. Hopefully, oh, well, no, new principles are good, but hopefully it's not going to immediately cave through. Might even wait and see if we can do these insulated tiles on the side. Though I'm 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 feeling this might be a bit much. Okay, so far so good. For safety, I'm gonna. She won't do it if I shut the door. Is, is this what she's on now? No, but we can make it. Sorry, phone call. Uh, we, we, we need to be able to get these built, and that's not going to happen if I close this door. So I'm just going to sit here and watch until these get built. And given that there doesn't appear to be any dropping at the moment, I feel like the next thing is we try and dig this. That, that could be a trouble. Like how far through a door does a duplicate need to be before you can throw the switch and they make it to the other side? <laughs> okay, first one going in. This one's pretty safe. There's uh, obsidian on all sides, so this shouldn't be any trouble whatsoever. Just digging it. Okay, good good work. Not, not actually going to build it. Totally uncoerced by uh, alarms there. I've brought Kiri back to, uh, to, to continue with the build why is it saying unreachable dig that's unfortunate oh she's gonna go breathe okay i suppose that's fine oh she's gone this side this time okay that that's fine we'll wait and see i suppose she does like to dig more than build but that's fine uh ooh, i was a little bit worried that this might go over the top but no obsidian is a strong material it turns out i kind of knew that material uh, that obsidian was a strong material but uh there we go right curie i want you to stand here <laughs> I want you to dig that. Oh, this is such a bad idea. Okay, we're, we're gonna be do this like always frame by frame. Okay, go get go get go get some ox oxygen. That's cool. I feel actual anxiety at the moment as she comes around to do the automation wire. Okay, fair enough. But here, here we go. This is the one. Oh, I don't. I really don't want you to be stood there. Let's let's get you moved to here and then do it if you could. Okay, thanks very much. Oh, actual anxiety. Okay, Curie, move. Go, go, go. And I'm going to turn this one on. Uh, so far, so... The door just, just completely went... Mm, okay. So, if we do reload it, <laughs> the first thing I'm going to do is replace that. Do we have enough still? Yeah, we do have enough still. Or we can make enough still. All right, go, go, Curie. Get through. Okay, let's swap that to close the door okay so far so good so far so good all right not amazing we've melted some uranium i thought it had a high enough melting point turns out i was very wrong okay but actually went kind of okay actually kind of went okay we've got magma in the magma chamber we need to build these things very quickly in fact i, I want these very quickly and then we'll put another granite tile over the top of it 
And we'll see how that goes for now. Okay, this igneous rock, very, very hot. Um, we're not really gonna be able to deal with it right now. Oh, pure, poor Curie. No gases coming off the uranium, so that's pretty good. Man, it's, it's going okay, it's going okay. We just need to get this granite tile in place. It's very intense, it is very, very intense. If we can get this granite tile in place, I think we'll be good for the moment. Uh, we, we could ask this conveyor loader to take the refined materials as well. We can get that copper out of there, beautiful. Good to know that the material system is working fine. Okay, so that's also working fine. We've got insulated tiles in between the door. Hopefully we can start keeping the temperature down. We're not gonna go up too much more. The lava's only got 1,400 and the melting point of the door is 2,400, so it, it's fine. Oh. Well, I mean, we've, we've just made some petroleum over here. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I can, I can live with that. I, I've done worse. I've done worse. Like, you know, stacking up 500, 600 degree rock outside my hatcheries. Yeah, that's, that's not going to go bad at all, is it? Okay, Curie's in to finish the job. Stood in 200 degree liquids there. Not ideal. We're going to pump a bunch of water in there. I don't know how much we need. I don't think we need quite all of this that we've got available to us in this pipe. But we'll we'll see what we can get in there. I would like a nice layer on the floor. Um, but this liquid pipe thermo sensor currently sits at, uh, let, let's have a look here, 1000 degrees. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see what happens to the water when it first drops in there. Here we go. It's going going and uh yeah we've got depleted uranium in there okay we've got actual uranium liquid okay that's also very interesting uh so with this uh, i mean this is fine this is exactly what we want steam is being made waiting to see if it goes above 200 degrees when this will turn on but the actual the actual thing we want going is this should say if below 250 degrees please add more heat <sighs> Are we doing it yet? There's like 10 kilo. Oh wait, wait, wait. We should we should stop the stop the water. Uh, let let what's there drain through. I'm, I'm not sure. We've got we've got an awful lot of steam here. There's a lot of water on the floor. All I need to do is flick this switch and it turns the whole system on and we'll start turning this magma into igneous rock that's that's the plan okay ah oh, something's gone wrong okay we, we just need some 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 wire all right we can do this it's not going to be the most pleasant job getting in here but we can do it i'm actually going to turn these on to <laughs> this this is important guys this is important oh i don't know if it's plank important he, he's quite quite broken already oh plank's going back in 80 degree water on the floor okay i, I think he'll be Fine though, yeah, looking pretty good. Able to, oh, wait, let people out first. <laughs> that, that could have been a bit much. Oh no, why didn't it drop down? Maybe because I was quick enough. We'll, we'll hope about that. Am I gonna have to try and turn that door around? Oh, that would be horrible. Oh well, Curie's practically gonna kill herself making this tile secure. Oh. Didn't quite get there. All oh, the heat, the heat stroke's gonna get you. Are you really gonna let a silly thing like oxygen levels get you, Curie? Oh, she, she might actually have a problem. Okay, leave. Good. We've got a single triage cot, but um, Boar also <laughs> stood in the liquid a bit too long. Okay, let, let's give it a go now. Let's give it a go. If below 250, send that signal. Let's see some of the liquid drop down, right? We, we're going to get steam being made, hopefully up to a fairly high temperature, but not too high. This mesh tile going up is pretty fast. You know what? It would have been good to put... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put one down, but I'm not going to break in there to, to get it because that, that would be difficult. That's not the place to put it either. Here is a uh, temperature shift plate. I think there would be the best place because it would take the heat from there and put it into all these items around. But uh, we're, we're just going to have to sit here until it gets hot enough. The fact that we're going to have uranium on the floor kind of make, makes me laugh. It doesn't... Oh, it's... There's some radiation in there, but not enough to worry about. This steel tile is going to get very warm. In fact, if this depleted uranium melted, it would be better because then it's going to make a nice connection between this tile and the, the surrounding area. That, that would be good. There we go. Okay, that kind of worked. Uh, unfortunately, we look at the temperature overlay. It's just hot. We, I, I, we don't get anything other than, than hot. 
Forgot to turn the uh, Thermo Aqua Tuner on. I'm a little bit worried that we're going to spike up over its operating temperature here. Can we turn this one down a bit? No, it looks like we're just stuck with it. Okay, that's fine. Let's see what happens here as well. Of course, water's now coming out and being dropped on top of the liquid uranium. Wow, which is, is also getting very hot very fast. I'm expecting this to want to turn off soon. Let's actually set this to 230 and watch the door close and see if we have any problems here. Looks good. We've got an awful lot of magma in there. 2.7 kilograms. The temperature is going down nicely, though. That's That's cool. At what point does it solidify? Freezing point, 1,400. Will the airlock even allow it to melt? There's a question. Uh, to freeze, sorry, because the airlock's very hot. Okay, this uranium is a bit of a, a, an unknown quantity. I didn't know what it was going to do in there. It did end up because it was just randomly in there. Okay, we might leave the door closed. Let's change this to a ridiculously high number and come back to it when the whole system's kind of cooled down a little bit. Oh, but the igneous rock has melted. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. That means we're actually on the, the cooling cycle a lot quicker than I thought we were. I don't know how long yet. Okay, that's been taken out like that and then put into this conveyor belt, where it's then going to feed through here and maybe... Um, why is this not feeding? Ah, ah, we've melted stuff. Okay, we can do that though. We can connect it up in a short manner. Yeah, this this uranium has not helped. It, it's definitely helped spread the temperature, but not. It's too much. It's too much. Too much. All right, all right, all right, all right. That, that was getting far too out of hand. I think we're going to come back a few days, like I already have, and we're going to try and get this depleted uranium out of there. Something else I want to do is get the actual uranium that's in there out. I don't know whether that's something that we can take advantage of, the fact that depleted uranium turns into uranium. I mean, that would be good. Boar, boar, you, you look like you're about to die if you do that. Could you, could you not? Thank you very much. So we've got all of the solids out of there. I also want to double check some of these lines. Like if we have a look at the automation wire there, depleted uranium. Let's not. Oh, there it goes. It melted. Okay, that, that was a thing that I was a little bit worried about, actually. Okay, it's got incredibly hot in here. 493 on that tile. Uh, 83. I mean, I think, I think this steam turbine should pick up at some point. I'm going to set that to a P9 and see if we can't get this uranium uh, mopped up and then maybe we could do better here. I'd really I'd really like to get another one of these just there. I think I think that would be great, but this means that we need to extend the extend the insulated box out, put a new liquid lock down. I mean there, there's a whole bunch of stuff that we would have to do here. Maybe come up with a better command. To, where's where's the uranium gone? Wait, stop. I think the uranium might have condensed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think that's the case there. Okay, this, this is not the end of the world. This is great. Maybe, hopefully everything will get picked up now. Also, we have cold water being shipped, uh, cold in big inverted commas being shipped in, so that should also help the temperature situation in there. Maybe we'll actually be able to give this a bit of an overhaul. Okay, here's a crazy plan that I think could backfire in our face, but we're going to try and do it anyway. All right, let's 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 come in like this. Maybe make ourselves a new liquid lock over here. Let's have a bottle emptier. Ooh, how are we going to do this? Let's, let's stop and give it some thought. Yeah, that's getting painfully close to the lava. I mean, what is that? Just obsidian on the diagonal there. Let's maybe not do that. We'll get this uh, liquid lock set up and then put some more stairs for going up there maybe. But hopefully we can get this box filled in and then, and then get a gas meter, a gas pump in there. Get all the oxygen out that is in this area. Curie getting some pretty major scolding there. Okay, that might be a problem. I think we could say no might about it. There, There is a problem here. Hmm. Are uh, these fools going into the warm spot? Uh, and Boar's down. And Boar is down. Unfortunately, one of the problems with rolling back in time is uh, all the, the triage cots that you've got put up suddenly don't exist anymore. Okay, let's, let's try and deal with that. That's more important than this. Okay, a very messed up plank is taking an incapacitated boar to the triage cot. Curie getting in there before either of them. Okay, that's that's interesting. I suppose she can drag herself over. Uh, we're just, we're just going to let people heal up a little bit, I think. Wait, is this a tile of depleted uranium? What is this? What is this? Something something weird's happened. Okay, that's, that's cool, I suppose. I suppose. <laughs> How did I do that? We could we could plant stuff on that. That's a natural tile. Hmm, that's that's a thing to think about. 
Okay, I think I've noticed something going on. We've got the Abyssalite trying to dump temperatures into the ladder. We're, we're ending up with literal hundreds of degrees here. Unfortunately, this means that Curie has taken a bit more damage. This, this is getting a little out of hand, if I'm to be honest with you. A little out of hand. All I can think is that we are transferring some of this uh, heat from the Abyssalite, but that... That shouldn't be. That really shouldn't be. This has got a buried object under it. What? What? <laughs> yeah, I'm watching that temperature tick down on the Abyssalite. What? What is this? How? Rutherford having a real bad time. Why is the oxygen so hot? I I just don't understand. We've we've got ourselves a legitimate problem here. Okay, I've been watching this ladder segment behind uh, Plank here, and actually the temperature's been dropping on it. If, if we have a look, it's 66, hopefully 65.9. Okay, so that's gone down nicely. Must be... Oh, I mean, like, what? why? <laughs> but why? I'd love to come up with some reasons, but I just I just don't know them. Like, th will, will this help? Who knows? Okay, so we brought, like, ice-cold granite up. That, that should be fine. 7.4 degrees shouldn't be a problem. Wow, Curie is already in trouble. I suppose we have got 600 degree oxygen up here, but ugh, I, I just don't know how to fix it, to be honest. I have let a bit more oxygen flow come down and through this way. Curie, you're going to have to go somewhere else. You, you can't keep going that way. And incapacitated on the way down. I mean, oh my gosh, really? This is this is taking a while. Look at this, 800 degrees here. Why? That's just too hot. We don't even have any material that's giving it up. I don't, I don't understand. This abyssalite's been brought down to 30 degrees. How? <laughs> it's got to be these tiles here. We've got like 700 degrees, 800 degrees. I feel like this corner, maybe something to do with the obsidian here. I don't, I can't see how that would be true, but it could be. Let's try these three. This is going to lead to further incapacitedness, but um, we kind of we just need to get it done, you know? We kind of just need to get it done. Curie's down. Curie's down. But uh, hey, we, we got some digging done, right? Maybe, maybe someone's going to come along and, and put Curie back to bed. Yeah, hopefully. Who? Uh, Rutherford? No, Plank. Plank. Boar. Boar did it. Okay, name, name them all. Got there eventually. <laughs> Is this worse, though? Is this worse? No, we're now down to 400 degrees. So whatever it was, we might have already fixed it. Okay, once again, sending Curie to the point of exhaustion might not be the best way of going about it. Make sure she is who is assigned here. Okay, great. This means someone should be along to pick her up shortly, hopefully before she dies. All right, there we go. Boar, good work. And already down to like 200 degrees. So we're getting better. We just need to uh, fill these ones in somehow. Double incapacitated. Who else is incapacitated? What? Rutherford. Oh my gosh. Why? Blank. Get, it, get out of there. Go. <laughs> This is me currently being the worst overseer. Look, sending Curie back in. She got a little close. She got a little close. Can she build that in time, though? No, no. All right. I mean, yeah, we're just going to keep doing it like this, I think. Curie's there. Okay, she's uh, assigned. Did she get the dig done? She did get the dig done, which means other people can come along and finish the building. Go for it, Ball. Good work. You're going to fall over anyway, but that's that's fine. That's that's the way of life. Rutherford's not dead, so we're going to... This is this is horrific. Swap out for Boar. It was Boar, right? Not Plank. It was bore. Okay, there, there we go. We're, we're just going to keep them swapping through until we get all of this back down into a reasonable temperature. I think we might even be there, to be fair. Okay, it's all dropped down to hundreds now, which is still hot, but it's not dying instantly. Okay, we've had to go full despot mode several times over. All my duplicates are having a terrible time. Rutherford on the edge of death. Boar on the edge of death and cleaning up the inside of the steam room. Plank in the hospital. Curie in the hospital. It has been a savage day, but we've managed to get all the insulated tiles up and around and suddenly our 300 degrees, 500 degrees, 800 degrees oxygen is all the way back down to 30. This is pretty good. I feel like it's time that we can start moving moving things around and maybe getting this up and running well, hopefully, hopefully. Okay, about an hour later, we've had a little bit of troubles with the steam here, but that's no problem. I've re-looped the, uh, the cooling loop over here to go up and around a whole bunch of stuff. I think we can now seal this off. We've had a little bit of overheat, as I say, where this thermal aqua tuna was left in a vacuum and just started warming itself up. That's not quite everything we want to do, though, is it? We also want to get this line up and running again, and that is going to take... A lot of work, like a super lot of work, and we're also going to have to try and get 
Franklin over. Let's see if we can get that running right away. Franklin coming over would be very useful. Where is she? Where is she right now? Is she, like, dead somewhere? <laughs> Probably not, but, uh... Okay, she's on her way after doing doing something. Who knows what the something is? All right, let's teleport over. Man, this this has taken a lot longer to wrap up than I really thought it was going to. Okay, we're almost certainly going to have to inject more water both into the cooling loop and into the actual steam system over here. But I think the first thing we can do is start dropping this down to below 20 and get the uh, thermal aqua tuner up and running. It should be able to keep itself nice and cool as long as I've made it out of the right material. Okay, that's good. We've got a bit of distance here. I've just noticed that they've got this whole power line that's not necessary. But you know what? We'll just leave it there for now. Okay, I suppose we're just going to flick this switch and uh, see how this all melts. This will be the last thing we do today, of course. Okay, so this is getting nice and hot, pushing its temperature into the metal tile. This thermosensor has turned off, turning the robo miner off so that we're not taking away um, stuff that's too hot, igneous rock that's too hot. But now that that tile has gone, there's not a great deal of steam to carry the temperature through. This might actually be a problem okay i'm gonna fill up the cooling loop and then from the cooling loop i'm gonna fill up i don't i don't know about this part but we're we're, we're gonna let that go across as well is this just gonna come straight up it is gonna come straight up okay so uh let's let's up the priority on this one get that get get that loop full apart from of course every, everybody's incapacitated at the moment Low. what we got on the blueprints yeah, i don't care about any of those Oh, so we've got hot enough to shut the door. Okay, that's interesting. So this, we, we still need more liquids. That, that's the main thing. Franklin coming through to work on this. Okay, this interesting situation. I really would have preferred this one to be filled first. Hopefully there. Beautiful. All right, so we should now have liquids coming up from down below. Apart from I cut the line here. Lol. Okay, I'm essentially emptying out the entire line here. I'm not sure that's great, but we're, we're going to run with it. We're going to run with it whilst there is more liquid coming up from the bottom here. Might take a little while to get there. And in fact, I'm now going to deconstruct this um, this bridge because it looks like we've got a lot of, got a lot of steam. Ten, 10 kilos a tile? Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, now we have water going around the cooling system, which should hopefully fill it back up beautifully. It's going to jump over here. We don't have any bridge going back the other way. We're cooling everything down, and then this should also fire up to cool everything down. Take away this, and we are good. The real question I've got now, and, and I should have thought about this. Really, I should have put another door across the top, and then we could have opened this up. What's over? How is the thermal aqua tuner overheating already? Okay, I think we need to say when this reaches below whatever it is right now, so let's say 650, this is when we dig so that we don't overheat the steam. I think that's the problem here. We've got our thermal aqua tuner up too high, and I didn't put a system on there to stop it turning over when it's too hot. Um, that's, that's a bit of a problem. Well, we've had our first output of igneous rock, and at some point soon, I think these turbines should be able to turn over again, minus... 1200 uh, 112 is a little bit high we're gonna have to try and figure out how to get the thermal aqua tuna running but with that i am going to say thank you very much for this adventure scuffed as it has been ladies and gentlemen i will see you guys next time we're gonna try and figure out how to keep this system running i think it's all to do with when this uh hot rock gets injected into the system but i will see you then when we're gonna do that bye